Hello, welcome back. All right, welcome to another video by Schmarvin. All right, so new server had to redo a lot. Uh, we had a griefer or three noted in the forum. All right, uh, I had to ban all three, take away their privileges, and basically start from scratch. And this is what we uh, ended up with. So, um. Basically, we started constructing this as a spawn zone for new players. Um, once you start on this server, you will be spawned here. So, it's a great place to start. Very safe. And you also get to see right now my shaders mod. Very amazing thing. Uh, um, the lighting in this game right now is unbelievable. Um, if you notice, it is a little bit pixelated. That's only because I'm only running the 64 uh, by 64 version of... Sfax's um, texture pack. Uh, links to the shaders mod and the texture pack are in the description below. Be sure to read both. Check them out. Both very cool. Uh, On to the map. Alright. Rules will be placed here. Welcome to Cross Gaming and admins. I will list the admins. I am the only current admin, but I will be making a moderator chart for the list of moderators that will be. <laughs> All right. Warning: This is a survival server, and it is on hardcore difficulty. There are a lot of monsters out there. Beware. Uh, if you notice when I do this, um, it blurs a bit. Well, that is the motion blur from the shaders mod. Thanks to that, very cool gaming experience. Um, it does lag me a little bit. I think I'm getting maybe uh, about 20 to 25 FPS. And now this is with a dual core machine running a Intel Core 2 Duo 64-bit processor with 4 gigabytes of memory and I also have SATA hard drive with a graphics card by NVIDIA it is the XFX NVIDIA GeForce 9800 GTX Plus um, that is the 512 megabyte DDR2 memory version so uh, not sure why it lags but this is the only game I've had lag on my computer like this before so it might just be Java I am running uh, Java 7 64 bit so I'm not sure it's kinda not fully released yet maybe there's a few bugs in it not sure let's continue on alright last chance to read the rules before you leave rules are on the back wall I will be posting them uh, basically it's no grieving be respectful of others and watch your language uh, there are some kids that watch this uh, that join us and play on this server so be very courteous to others all right let's go out Ooh, very bright outside uh, you notice the shaders mod does add a lot of lighting as you've seen on other videos on YouTube so uh, I'm not gonna get into detail on that but it looks very very wonderful um, this used to be someone's house creeper destroyed it <laughs> if you notice it's in the wilderness monsters can destroy it and then you come back a little bit and we're in this establishment um, I will be redrawing the lines for this town. Um, right now we're in New Station. And it's supposed to come all the way around the water side and into that building. That's the edge of the town right there. Um, we'll be getting there in a minute, but this is going to be the bridge outside the town. So if you want to leave the town, you'll have to take this route. Other than that, let's get back in. Um, Now, this was built by three people. Myself, Slayer1J, I believe. No, it was Jerry007X and Tibe Lip. Uh, I don't think any of them are on right now. Oh, shit. Negative. Just me online. I feel alone. Very lonely right now. Let's continue on. Right here will be someone's house. Um, I've already allotted them the place to build, so. Actually, I'm thinking about two houses in this area. Um, that's my little workbench. I'll try something out, but let's continue on. Um, basically, any major building in this area is going to have a stone or cobblestone path to it, um, just for a little bit easier walking face. Um, this does not have a sign for it yet. It's the housing complex that I've made. I'm still working on it. Still a lot to do for it. Um, but really cool feature is this. Um, I have an amazing light source going on for this, um, so let's continue on. 
all lights turn on to turn on in sequence thanks to the redstone and um, what's the delayed timer to what not they're called I'm not sure um, they're very helpful in lighting this place up if you notice I switch from floor lighting to ceiling lighting uh, I started running out of space I thought this was a good idea at first to go on the floor um, but it's very difficult to go underneath one uh, two blocks and then go past the walls and try to connect all of these still so I ended up switching to the ceiling lighting so basically I have the ceiling lights right here and I have redstone on the sides of the walls uh, all the way up on top that run back to here someone came in um, and it goes all the way through to the end of the hall uh, eventually I will be putting more homes but currently I only have two so let's go in my house for a second um, if you notice I have lighting in here as well all by switch um, two rooms past here uh, right now we'll go into the kitchen area which I'm still in the process of building I'm also going to be changing out the walls quite a bit uh, adding a little bit more flair to it for my personal liking as well as some carpeting uh, let's continue on if you notice narrow corridor this is what I was talking about with the floor lighting um, it's very um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for it takes a lot of space is what I'm is what I'm trying to say um, the redstone actually has to go back two blocks for the lighting to work so it bumps out this wall two blocks and then it's hidden in this second wall that you can't see uh, you can see it through the hidden lighting right here uh, there's my lighting for this room but there's a redstone that actually connects to the opposite side of the hall over here um, connects to this one right here so let's go back in my little housing right here All right. This is my room. Very small, tiny, don't care. I liked it. Uh, someone was kind enough to put a music box, some bookcases, and I think a chest and cake. And I've got personal lighting in here as well. All doors to get out of rooms are by pressure switch, so you just step on it and it opens the door. I swear that's probably a villager again. I don't know. I have two dogs. Very, very nice to me. Um, someone left their cat here. I think it was Slayer One J. If you saw the sign in the beginning. Um, now, this is gonna be my automated fireplace. Currently does not work. There he is. Um, I have a water source above, and then I have lava above. Both are controlled by a switch to light it. Let me welcome Slayer One J. Um, it took me forever for um, town claiming uh, of this area because it's not very friendly. But I want to know what that door noise is. Let's go out. I think it's this one, is it, or is it the front one? I don't know. There might be a sheep or something again. <laughs> Let's go in. All right. Turn this light on. Yes, this is the only house I have so far. Where'd the door go? How did you get in here? Where'd my door go? Um. Anyway. Continues on. This is the kitchen. I had someone else build this whole, all these rooms. Um. I, I want to know how he got in here. Anyway. Um. He did the floors. He's still working on it. This is going to be a bedroom. It's got floor lighting and everything. Um, and then the other one was a dining area and kitchen. This is like the living area. Uh, so let's leave. Um, back there is absolutely nothing for now. I will be putting more rooms in now. So let's get out of here real quick. I'm thinking about putting a press the switch out of here just so it's easier. Right now the push button they're kind of uh, annoying per se. So yeah, it gets old very quick trying to fight with that thing. Um, Alright, let's go back on the path. If you notice back there, someone's grave. <laughs> I, I kind of tossed someone down into a hole built around him and threw a creeper on top of him and he died. 
Uh, had a little bit of fun there, but <laughs> yeah. All right, this is one of our arenas uh, by our, one of our members. So it's a one way for some strange reason. I don't know what he did with this. Uh, he wrote a poem on that side and then something else on this. I don't know what he did. But there, he'll put shops, I guess. I don't know. And then you leave and you come out here and you're stuck out here. And then you can actually just walk up to the seating, I guess. Alright, over here. We have a Spleef Arena. That's kind of cool, I guess. I don't know what that is. If someone wants to comment below and tell me what a Spleef Arena is, that'd be great because I have no clue. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very confusing. Alright. It's very nice, though. Um, this was done by Tibilep. Bathroom. One through four. How are all these things getting up here? I don't know. You have an audience room and a staff room back there. Alright, so that's basically it for the town. Um, down here is a place you don't want to go. If you're disrupting our server or doing something stupid, uh, you'll be sent here. This is jail. You'll be sent here probably for about three days. Uh, or, if I feel like it, I probably will ban you. Um, Alright, ooh, that got dark really quick. Um, let's go out of bounds real quick. Alright, so we're going to be flying over to where Slayer1 has built his town, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. Um, I don't remember where he put it. Somewhere over here. I think this is it over here. Yes, here it is. Ah, uh, very nice. I haven't been over here in a while, uh, so don't get me wrong if I get lost. Very nice. Um, I can't see a damn thing. I, I don't know if he has a light torch or whatnot. Um, I'm gonna follow him. God, it's, it's just completely dark in here. Uh, the shaders mod definitely adds darkness to everything. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't know what what he's doing at all. I guess he's putting glowstone down so to light this place up. I don't know what's in here. Um, I haven't visited this place in about a couple of hours. Um, basically, he started on this when the server started back up. So I gave him props for that. Mm, very nice, though. Um, I'm not sure what's in here. It's just a big open area. He has something over here, I guess. <laughs> All right then. He said this is a spawn start. Any other buildings? I don't know. My terrible typing you just saw there. So <laughs> let's get out of here. Um. I'm also running with the random colored creepers. He disappeared. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go back to the town. I think we're going right. Okay, I'm going the right way. Um, about to end this video here shortly. Um, but thanks for watching. And let me see if I can get back to the town at least. Yeah, I'm probably gonna ask whoever made that to get rid of it, unfortunately. It's kind of an eyesore. <laughs> uh, what we want on this server is more <laughs> generalized buildings. The Spleef Arena is fine, that's fine. Um, but we already, since that one was made, this one seems redundant. Uh, it's also kind of small. So, uh, let's see. 
Okay, next video, I should have more defined area of the town. Um, more buildings should be built. Um, probably we'll have a gravesite as well. And hopefully two more uh, housing apartments down below in this area. And other than that, uh, just more defined buildings. Uh, please come out and play. Have fun with us. Um, if you want the IP, it's down in the description below. Please join us. Also note, it is port number 22, not 25556. That is the, it's not the default mine port. So, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. And have fun.